A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. Trivialize even the smallest item in God's law, and you will have trivialized yourself. But take it seriously, show the way for others, and you will find honor in the kingdom. Unless you do far better than the Pharisees in the matters of right living, you won't know the first thing about entering the kingdom. You're familiar with the command to the ancients, do not murder. I'm telling you that anyone who is so much as angry with his brother or sister is guilty of murder. Carelessly call a brother idiot, and you just might find yourself hauled into court. Thoughtlessly yell stupid at a sister, and you're on the brink of hellfire. The simple moral fact is that words kill this is how I want you to conduct yourself in these matters. If you enter your place of worship and about to make an offering, you suddenly remember a grudge a friend has against you, abandon your offering, leave immediately, go to this friend and make things right. Then, and only then, come back and work things out with God. Or say you're out on the street and an old enemy accosts you. Don't lose a minute. Make the first move. Make things right with him. After all, if you leave the first move to him, knowing his track record, you're likely to end up in court, maybe even jail. If that happens, you won't get out without a stiff fine. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us now listen to a short reflection on the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Chapter 5, verses 20 to 26. Fair sense and keener sense of justice. Today is the second Friday of Lent. As we journey on the way of the cross to Easter, the Word of God reminds us of the metanoia, the turnaround that the Lord calls us to practice. Today's Gospel is taken from Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. It's all about overcoming complacency and practicing virtues beyond being minimalists. Lent is a time to reflect on identifying and overcoming temptations. Getting over complacency is one of my biggest struggles. Whether it is my spiritual practice or the way I handle my responsibilities, I fail to walk the extra mile. The gospel today calls us to walk the extra mile. Committing murder is indeed a crime, and we are happy that we have not committed that crime. But the gospel today challenges us to introspect whether we are guilty of the crime of character assassination through lies, gossips, or social media. Father Paulson Villeneuve writes about the difference between a fair sense and a keener sense of justice. Human justice demands that if my brother holds a grudge against me, he is the one who should come to me for reconciliation. The human sense of fairness wants to build walls to prevent the entry of migrants. The same sense tells that a murderer should be executed by the state. Fair enough. But the keener sense that Jesus wants his followers to have is not fair. It goes beyond being fair. It demands that I go to my offending brother and initiate reconciliation. That I break down the walls that separate peoples. That I feed those who do not and perhaps cannot work. That I forgive my brother's murderer. Fair sense creates just people. Keener sense creates saints. <laughs>